in Times Square, a whole bunch of happy people this Tuesday morning, waving a lot of flowers, and we've got our friend Chris Harrison in the studio as well this morning. He's got some roses on hand, and Chris, boy, that was really something last night. It lived up to the hype. Explosive. Right? It was good stuff last night. Yeah. <laughs> Desiree left in tears. Brooks. I know. Brooks said, uh-uh. Uh, so, Chris, you're going to be the one handing out roses this morning to our beautiful new angels oh, over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. We, re wow. we rehearsed this, Chris. This is where you walk over Come and start on, handing out the, the roses. Go on Look, there. I said I didn't want to do this, uh, <laughs> but if I have to work with the Victoria's Secret models, I, I guess I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, this you, usually we eliminate somebody, but why would I? <laughs> right? I mean, who, who would kick time? anybody off this set? <laughs> Which one of these is not like the others? <laughs> they are the new Victoria's Secret Angels, and they're going to be revealing some of their beauty and fitness secrets for us as well. And look at that. Chris, I want to assure you, you're all beautiful on the inside as well. I just want that clear. Also, guys, also burning up the heat index this morning, the explosive season finale wow. on The Bachelorette. So part one was last night. We've all been talking right. about it. <laughs> Des ending in tears for her. Chris Harrison's Wait, why is Elliot already, already laughing? What's wrong, Josh? Elliot's <laughs> laughing. You cringed. No, just you cringed. It's not your fault, Chris. It's, it's not, it's not. No, but it was it was a cringeworthy episode. I mean, if you didn't see it, it's you, we're going to give you a peek right now. He's got a world exclusive Ooh. for us and a sneak peek of part two. But here's how it went down last night. I didn't want to share my heart. I wanted to give it to you. This shocking confession at the conclusion of last night's dramatic Bachelorette. I love you. I do. You told me that earlier. But despite offering her love to Brooks, it was heartbreak for Bachelorette Desiree Hartsock. Look at me. No, I can't. When one of the top three finalists, Brooks, confesses he is not in love with her. Stop it. There's mortgage broker Chris, who woos Desiree with his poetry, and dreamy Drew, who speaks from his heart, both professing they are falling for her. I love you. I love you. And of course, there's handsome, adventurous Brooks. I would say, yes, I love Brooks. From dream dates atop the Hollywood sign to a picnic high above the clouds in Madeira. The one man Desiree's fallen for. Brooks. Brooks. Brooks, 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 will you accept the strips? Yes. Who says he just doesn't love her back. <laughs> Worst thing in my life. So will this bachelorette ever find her own fairy tale just, ending? I just can't love them as much. I know I have to give. Honestly, for me, it's over. So that was rough last night. It was yeah. so tough to watch. Thank you for being with yeah. us. Uh, the big question that right. from the control room to friends to Twitter, everyone wants to know how long did Des sit on the end of that pier and continue to cry? Slightly longer than it took Brooks to articulate the fact that he was leaving. That only took three days uh, to actually say, by the way, I'm breaking up with you. But no, after that, she walked back out there. And I mean, she sat there for a good half hour. And was she just totally missing signs from him? Or was he just was, was he waffling back and forth? What was going on behind the scenes? You know, that's the beautiful thing about this show, because the other guys have professed their love all along, and he's the one guy who hasn't. There's been red flags, you know, all the way through. She just walked right past him. Right. And, you know, she always said, you just don't see the things that I do or hear the things that I do. He doesn't need to say it. Um, obviously, he did yeah. need to say it. And, um, you know, he just wasn't feeling it like she was. And it was, but it was, it was one of those situations you run into on the show where you're like, I don't know if we should be listening in on this. It was right. so personal, um, but it was, it was really stunning to watch. But yeah, she you, sat out there for a good half hour. Do you remember that happening ever before? In we, all the you know, it's funny, Robin, when we go into this, you say there's going to be something on this season yeah. that's never happened before. And we really have never had that situation at the end of the show. Um, and we've never had kind of that final exotic episode. It's usually happy, happy. Here's the final two guys. Yeah. Who's she going to marry? Sad. And now it's, is this show going to go on next week? What will happen from so, here? Right, are they, do the other two guys know that, that she this was happened? so heartbroken? By no, that? and that's one of the things. Obviously, uh, you know, where we left the episode off last night is just her and Brooks know. The yeah. guys have no idea. And at this wow. point, you should also know we separate them. You know, they don't see each other until the rose ceremony. So right now, so they're like in a jury. They have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Right, they're sequesters. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Drew and Chris uh, have no idea what went down. And so obviously, we pick up next week with. What's she going to do? Will there be an explanation to this? Can I show the clip? Yeah, so good yeah. we have, thank you for bringing okay. an exclusive peek. This is what's going to happen next. Just a snippet. Oof.
This is a hard one to take. It throws everything off, having Brooks gone. He said he didn't know until now. It came down to the hometown, and his mom and sister asked if he's ready for marriage. Then it's hard for him, you know, to think of marriage when maybe he doesn't love me. It broke my heart to have him say those things to me. And now I don't know where to start. So will Des find love? Right. We sort of are led to believe that she would have, well, she would have picked him. We yeah. know she would have picked Yeah, him. obviously she would have. And so now, you know, we'll pick up with obviously explaining to the other guys and, and me sitting down with her and where do we go from here and how do we put this back together? Hey, can I say I'm looking forward to seeing you too, Miss America? We're, yes. we're, we're about a month away from being in Atlantic we'll City be back, and crowning the next Miss America. Next Monday, yeah.